hello and welcome to this video in one of our earlier uh, videos we had designed a 40 meter vertical antenna using mmana if you have not seen that video i will leave a link somewhere here uh, please do check it out in this uh, video uh, we will be designing a multi-band vertical antenna in mmana software so let's get started let us go to the geometry tab and enter the name of the antenna of course you can enter any name that you like uh, i'm going to keep the default frequency as 14.15 uh, which is 20 meter band uh, we are going to design for 40 meter band and 20 meter band so uh, let me just keep it 14.15 um, we'll go to the wire edit section and select the exact plane um, in this plane we are going to draw a wire element um, uh, the center point of this wire element will be the feed point i'm going to just draw a horizontal wire and divide it into two pieces a junction is created here now on one side of this horizontal wire i'm going to introduce the element for 40 meter band and on the other end of this horizontal wire i'm going to introduce the wire element for the 20 meter band um, by right clicking and going to wire definition and selecting start point this will keep the start point as it is and increase the length in another direction we are going to make this uh, the wire element for 20 meter band so the quarter wave length of 20 meter band is 5 so we are going to make the length of that wire element as 5 meters press ok i'm going to select the other element right click go to wire definition and i'm going to again do the same thing select start point to keep and change it to, to 10 meters because quarter wave length of 40 meter band is 10 meters select ok we have uh, drawn the antenna we'll just go outside into the view section and zoom in a bit this is our 40 meter band element and this is our 20 meter band element we are going to introduce source at the center of this wire number one now that we have drawn the antenna and introduced the source point or the feed point it is time to check the performance of this antenna let us go to the calculate tab let us first check the performance of the 20 meter band wire element so we are we have selected the frequency 14.15 megahertz the ground setup would be eight quarter wave ground radials uh, the height is obviously zero because it is a vertical antenna which is on the level of the ground the material selected is copper wire with this selected i'm going to press start here you can see that the SWR is 6.88 let us check where the antenna is resonant at it is resonant at 14.651 we want it to be resonant at 14.15 which is a lower frequency and hence the wire lengths uh, of the 20 meter band element have to be increased such that the new resonant frequency becomes 14.15 we have to remember that currently the antenna is resonant at 14.651 we enter it here 14.651 and then do a wire scaling now we have to remember here that the wire scaling is going to affect the 40 meter band element as well but since we have not checked its performance performance as yet we can always make changes to its length later on so 
the new frequency we have to enter is 14.15 uh, if you want to know more about wire scaling please check my earlier videos where i explain in detail what wire scaling is i press ok the lengths of the wire elements have changed such that the new frequency the new resonant frequency for 20 meter element is now 14.15 let us check let us change this to 14.15 one more time and press start here you can see that the antenna is giving an SWR of 1.37 let us check the SWR curve once to confirm here you can see that the antenna is resonant at 14.15 so we made changes to the 20 meter band element we changed the length of uh, the wire so that such that it is resonant at 14.15 with SWR of 1.37 uh, the length of uh, the 20 meter band is now 5.177 similarly let us now check the performance of the antenna at 7.1 megahertz uh, that is for the 40 meter band we are keeping everything similar and pressing start here you can see that the SWR is 1.41 let us check where the antenna is resonant at so here you can see that it is resonant at 7.044 so it is resonant at a lower frequency then our target frequency which is 7.1 and so we need to uh, decrease the length of the 40 meter band element such that the new fre resonant frequency becomes 7.1 but now this time we cannot do automatic wire scaling because that will change the length of the 20 meter band wire element which we do not want since we have already finalized the length to make it resonant on 14.15 at low SWR so we will do the wire scaling for this manually we want to make the new resonant frequency as 7.1 from a lower frequency which is right now 7.044 and hence we need to decrease the length of the 40 meter band element to make this happen let us go and select the 40 meter band element right now it is 10.354 i'm going to right click it select wire definition select the start point to keep and decrease the wire length let us uh, make it 10.2 and check once pressing ok and calculate it one more time here you can see that the SWR is 1.38 let us plot the SWR curve once to check where the antenna is resonant at so it is resonant at 7.119 we can increase the length a little bit such that it is resonant at 7.1 exactly let's do it one more time let us right click wire definition start point and let us let us make it 10.21 and press ok let us calculate one more time Here you can see that it is resonant at 7.112 we can we can increase the length a little bit more such that it can go to 7.1 let us try one more time i'm just going to make this 
10.22 and press OK and let us check the plots one more time for the SWR curve and right now it is resonant perfectly at 7.1 with SWR of 1.36 so for 7.1 megahertz the SWR is 1.36 for 14.15 it is giving SWR of 1.38 so we can see that we have made an antenna with two elements one for 40 meter band and the other for 20 meter band such that for 40 meter band that is 7.1 megahertz it is giving SWR of 1.36 and for 20 meter band that is 14.15 megahertz it is giving SWR of 1.38 but the interesting fact here is that since we have designed for 7.1 megahertz the antenna should be also resonant at 21.3 megahertz let us see the SWR for that. The SWR is 1.91. So can we make certain changes such that the antenna can be used for 40 meter band, 20 meter band and 15 meter band as well. So can we do something to reduce this SWR of 21.3 megahertz such that the antenna can be used for 40 20 and 15 meter let us go to the geometry tab and introduce a load onto the 40 meter band wire element our 40 meter band element is wire number 4 so wire 4 and we are going to centrally load it so center and let us load it by let's say 0.3 to start with i'm going to check the use loads checkbox we can go to the view and zoom out and check that for the 40 meter band there is a small cross in the center of the wire element which denotes loads let us calculate for 21.3 megahertz is the 15 meter band i press start here you can see that the swr has reduced now it will affect the 40 meter band as well so let us see what swr it gives on 7.1 megahertz here you can see that the swr is 1.38 so with this we can see that for 20 meter band the SWR is 1.38 for 40 meter band the SWR is 1.38 for the 15 meter band the SWR is 1.34 so this antenna can be used on all these three bands and thus it makes it a multi-band vertical antenna the last part is of course the far field plots the far field plots will be different for all the three bands. Let us check one by one. Let us first calculate for the 20 meter band and check the far field plots. This is how the far field plots look like for the 20 meter band. Here you can see that the gain is about 0.6 dpi. Uh, and the elevation angle at which the maximum gain of 0.6 dBi occurs is 19 degrees of elevation angle. Let us check similarly for the 40 meter band at 7.1 megahertz. Here you can see that the gain is 0.77 dBi and it occurs at 29 degrees elevation angle 
Similarly, let us check the far field plots from for 15 meter band at 21.3 megahertz. Here you can see that the maximum gain occurs at 48 degrees elevation angle. Uh, the maximum gain uh, is around 5 dpi. Initially, we had selected 8 number of ground radials. Let us make them 16 number of quarter wave ground radials and see the effect. I press start. First, for the 15 meter band, you can see that the gain has gone up from 5.02 to 5.45. This is occurring at an elevation and angle of 14. 46.1 which earlier was 46.4 so the gain has increased and the takeoff angle of radiation has lowered let us now check for 14.15 megahertz that is the 20 meter band let us press start and now you can see that earlier the gain was 0 0.6 which has now become 1.2 and earlier the elevation angle was 28 which is now 27 let us check for the 40 meter band here you can see that earlier the gain was 0.77 and now the gain is 1.31 earlier the elevation angle was 26.6 and now it is 26.3 so this was the performance of this antenna on all three bands that is 40 meter 20 meter and 15 meter i hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel uh, please do so and also click the notification bell so that you will be informed whenever i upload new videos thank you for watching